a drink. Multitasking at the moment. Forward operating base. Two months since the start of Operation Northern Cross. The Federation's elite forces, Squad E among them, were driving back the Empire, one victory at a time. Yet, the further they cut into Imperial territory, the more tenuous the supply chain. And so, the Federation Army established a series of massive outposts along the front line. Among them, Lindbergh Base. Commanded by the 101st Division, this outpost would prove itself a vital logistics hub in the battles to come. our new base? It's incredible! Apparently these facilities can accommodate over 3,000 soldiers and 100 tanks. On top of that, they have enough food, fuel, and ammo to supply every squad on the front line. More like a dream come true. If I didn't know better, I'd think we were still in Federation territory. I guess the brass can get stuff done, when they actually try. What's the deal, though? They got all these resources and we're still stuck with one busted-ass tank? Excuse me? Our squad takes excellent care of the Hoffman. I have to admit, this really puts the scope of our mission into perspective. Hell yeah! With this much heat, the imps are gonna feel the burn. No, we've barely seen the tip of the iceberg. Even all this might not be enough. Oh, you think? No way to rain on our parade, Commander. Hey, who's that? They got some weird get-ups. Oh, those are Navy uniforms. That's a surprise. In the Navy. Evil troops doing this far inland. Well, I salute him for swimming all the way here. <laughs> Whoa! -ho -ho! Check out the ass on that one. I'd swab her deck. Can uh, someone, um, someone punch him for me, please? Uh, hold up, Raz. I'm just gonna say hi. Break the ice, you know. No, really, He's someone helpless. shoot him. I just hope he doesn't get into trouble. Highly, un highly unlikely. Don't hold your breath. Yeah. 
Anyway, we still have some time before the meeting. I'm gonna go take a look around. Oh, obligatory tutorial time. Okay. So this is the command center. I guess our deployment's going to change depending on the demands of the mission. I'll need the right balance of combat specialties. I should go over the pros and cons of every one. First things first, I'll look over the squad as a whole. Hold up there. Let's go back one second. Sugar withdrawal. What? You got it. That was a dude? You sure you don't need me? Nope, I need you. I'll show him. Do you have a wife and kid back home? Yep, go home to your wife and kid, buddy. Connor's a grenadier? Wait, I thought unpopular author, hold up. Fill of creative perspective, accuracy and defense increase. The only thing worse than writer's block is criticism, which AP falls below half as defense decreases. What? Poor logic. Anti-tank attack power, though, if he insists it's all for the sake of the war effort. Okay. Oh, I guess you got it. Oh, okay. Red shirts risk. Oh God, Jimmy was a red shirt. Even if he could have killed him. No, you are not going on the end. We want enemies dead. We don't want them living. Wait. All right. There you are. Understood. We got a German. She can't bring herself to practice with firearms. Um, I'm sorry. What? Excuse me? Keeps her from completely using up her bullets. <laughs> Easier that way. That explains a bit. Darkson Discriminator. Authority issues. Boring. Okay. As AP falls below in half, he starts to lose focus. Aye, sir. Sir, yes, sir. I like him. Darks and Bond. Dependent on Raz. Wait, Invincible. Ah. Remembering to load her ammo and her weapons sometimes completely slips her mind. She relies on divine intervention to keep her from taking danger. Taking inception fire lowers her evasion. I'm sorry, what? Think before anyone else increases her firing accuracy. Okay. Contact with a fallen soldier. Gambler, debt. Dead or hell? Oof. 
pyrofil. Oh. Oh, right. I forgot about that. And this will ex be explained later. But yeah, she's afraid of fire. Experimentation occasionally goes awry, though, after fire accuracy. Stage right. None of these snipers are good. That should like, do it for none now. of them. Preparation's a vital part of any battle. I get the feeling I'll be spending a lot of time in here. Oh yeah, how are you doing, Diana? Sorry. Like I said, multitasking. Even when I really shouldn't be. Training field! There you are, Claude. Oh god. I've been charged with Squad E's training. As ranking get... lieutenant, I'll be giving strict instruction to each combat class. Oh god. My poor men and women. The experience you gain in the field goes towards refining our abilities. I want to see growth from all combat classes. Each time a class makes a breakthrough, every squad member of that class will show improvement. Now show me what you're made of. Come now, is that the best you can do? Stop yelling at me. Also, that's good to hear. You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. Ah, shoot. Look at that. The Lancers have awakened to a new potential. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You are cleared to learn a new order. Yay! Evade boost. Come now! Is that the best you can do? Probably. You've leveled up, so to speak. Good work. Well, well. Your shock troopers have found a new potential. That's good. Hmm. Your troops have crossed a threshold today. You are cleared to learn a new order. Why does her voice sound familiar to me? Healing requests. That's going to be very useful. You've proven you have what it takes. Try taking those lessons to the battlefield, and come back when you're ready. Um, okay, please don't hurt me. Ah yes, let me tell you about potentials and orders. When combat classes rise in level, sometimes the soldiers show new potentials, or you might gain access to new orders. Uh-huh. You could say potentials show your soldiers' traits and tendencies, or at least how they manifest in battle. Most of my troopers' tendencies are not good. Orders are commands that you alone can issue in combat, either to individual soldiers or your squad as a whole. The thing
thing about orders. Actually, maybe you'd learn better through practice. Defense boost. Use your orders judiciously and you can tip the scales. Wait. Watch the flow of battle and command with discretion. Is Minerva a Lancer? That's all for me. Because she has she I has the shoulder pad. The best out of you and squad e. Huh. Interesting. Yes. R and D facility. Let's upgrade the Hoffen. Whoa, Claude! Look at all these weapon parts. Weapon parts. Yes. Perks of working in a Federation forward operating base, huh? We can develop new weapons here. Yaho. If there's anything you ever want to upgrade, just give me a holler. Tank armaments, infantry weapons, anything. Understood. We'll build all kinds of new weapons and make our team even stronger. Research and develop armaments for infantry and tanks by spending DCT. Okay, Verdi. We know how the deal goes. Issue equipment. Don't we have... to upgrade these because I don't really see any standard boost yeah it's called the freaking lend field so we really are just the British army yeah the lend field the Robinson whoa it turned out great the wasp the Sanders we, we really are just the British Army. Tank parts. Develop tank parts to enhance your vehicles and create uh, optional parts. Cannon armor strength. All enhancements stacked. AP shells. Whoa, it turned out... And body armor. Wow. If I remember correctly, body enhancements physically alter the tank. Do we not have... Okay, we don't have more ammo yet. That's going to be something we're definitely going to need. Once we... Because now I'm AP excited, shells actually it? take Once we're ready, ammo. Let's come back and make something to strike fear into the Empire. Yep. today oh whoops misclicked I meant to go to book mode ah. all right let's go shoot things Skirmishes. Mess hall. Private quarters. Get 
Rennen. Glad to see you're on time, Claude. Tour the base yet? Yeah, compared to the old camps, this is heaven on earth. I wouldn't know. Excellent. I expect you to put all this funding to good use. Oh, certainly. I want to have all the cosmetics for my tank. Sir, the commanders of squads A through I have assembled. If I remember correctly, there's also a crossover DLC where the Gallian forces and the Federation work together. But I'm not sure if it has spoilers in the story the for it. I know Squad E just arrived, but we already have marching orders. Of course we do. Our mission is to capture a small town northeast of here. Oh, right, this mission. According to reports, Rain is one of the enemy's most valued comm centers. And the tanks are the exact same way, judging from other YouTubers, so which is why it's I know which ones are real and which aren't. Tank platoon. That complicates things. Squad E is mostly infantry. Do we have the right equipment for urban and anti-tank warfare? No, we don't. Don't worry. This time you'll have fire support. Once you infiltrate the city, simply relay the tank's coordinates to the field artillery team. But what if she shoots at us? I see you already thought this through. There's we nothing to stop Riley intel. from killing the us. The Empire is inflating their numbers with decoys. If we can discern the real tanks from the fake, Rain is as good as ours. Excellent work, Lieutenant. I'm glad I can depend on you. This is gonna be weird. You flatter me, sir. Or at least awkward. <laughs> Impressed? Control info and you control the war. I'm not sure, but I think she's a spy. Join ops, huh? Coordinating with the fire support unit is gonna make or break this mission. Try to minimize collateral damage. We plan on repurposing their gear for our own comm center. Ha <laughs> Minerva, oh. you are to lure the enemy troops as far away from the city as possible. This is not going to end well. Consider it done. Squad E will then sneak in and gather intel for the field artillery team. Understood, sir. Yo, I hear we're moving out already. Oh, shame. I just scored a hot date with a Navy babe. Ha! You didn't. You wish. <laughs> you wish. You got <laughs> shut down. Hard. Yep. Uh, you were watching? Of course he was. Raz, what you do in your spare time is up to you. But when you're on duty, you represent the army. <laughs> Who are you, my mom? Probably. <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Anyway, you said we'd have fire support. Does that mean it's a joint operation? Yep, much to the disappointment of Riley. You guessed it. <sighs> hey. Looks like you're still alive. Cold. I'm glad you're okay, too. They told me you'll be commanding my team. Let me guess, you requested a transfer. Oh, really? Well then, I look forward to... Spare me. I already requested a transfer. Of course you did. Uh, oh. But orders are orders. Until my transfer goes through. You're in charge. Not that I expect real leadership from a scaredy Claude. <sighs> what do you know, Riley? Come lately, you just got here. What kind of name is that? All bark and no bite, as always. You mind shutting up while the grown-ups talk? Ouch! What the hell? It's been ten years, and that's how you greet an old friend? She racist Hi against Darkson's as well. I know it's not my business, but Claude, uh, 
Lieutenant Wallace is a great commander. None of us would have made it this far without him. We trust him with our lives. And since we'll be working together, maybe you should... She's not going to trust him. I should trust him? I'm sure it's all sunshine and rainbows while you're winning. But when the chips are down... Running away is probably all he could manage. Cut it out, Riley. <sighs> the Empire took your family from you. Not Claude. He's grown up since then. Judge him for who he is now. Leave it be, Kai. But... It's all right. Words can't change the past. He is really chill about this. Just have to rebuild. Rebuild what? Our trust. Huh? Riley, I'm gonna show you how much I've changed. This is like two childhood friends meeting. One of them was a Sundre. And they both have a crush on each other. It's both cute and sad. Let's make one thing clear. Unless it's for the mission, I do not take orders from you. Understood. Riley. Give me a break. <sighs> All right, let's go liberate the Rhine. Hey, Ethan, how you doing? Our goal is to liberate Rain. We've confirmed multiple heavy tanks, but suspected that many of them are fake. <clears throat> Squad used to infiltrate the city and relay the real tank's location to our artillery. A thick fog is causing poor visibility. So I'll need to get in close to confirm which one their decoys. Remember, your task is to locate the heavy tanks for fire support. Do not engage them. How's your dad doing? I feel like that voice was more Scottish than I meant. Let's go. Alright, I'll do something out there. I'll do my best. Alright, we're gonna want Buddy at any time. Well, heart and mind hearts and minds, my dude. I really hope he I really hope he pulls through and does better. Shoot, I didn't bring artillery. Okay. We're not gonna really need it anyway. This one's mostly about I'll handle this. Yep. Yeah. Here? This is gonna be very Okay, let's go through. That is all. Be sure not to miss a single tank. Understood. Let's move out. Locate the decoys and confirm the real tank's positions. Squaddy, move out! Now, I'm not sure if the tank's look has changed yet. I think that's, like, starting with the second or third upgrades. This fog will make finding the real tanks interesting. We have to get up and close. Yeah. We can't spot the decoys until we're practically on top of them. I at least know which ones are real and which ones are fake. Fake. We'll stick to cover and proceed with caution. Copy that. Though I can't speak for Raz. Say what? That. Yeah. All right. So let's see. Claude, 
I need to go over something with you. Yes. Oh, orders. Okay. I know about orders. Just order does to change the tide of battle. Okay, let's see here. I believe there's this one. What? There's a fake one here. It's a real one up here. This one's fake. This one. Okay, here we go. So this one's real. No wait. These two are real. This one's fake. This one's real. And I think the one straight over here is fake. Moving out. What the hell? The main gate's blocked off. Of course. This isn't good. Our tank can't get in. Well, it could. It looks like the controls are on the other side. Okay. Raz, can you go around and open the gate? Do I specifically have to have Raz go around there? I'm on it. Choke. You're not talking about the Hoffman, are you? I'm not letting you ride it anymore. Oof. I'm not sure if you can. Contact. All troops, take your position. But yeah, the one right there is fake. We can't let them see our numbers. I found the enemy. Yep. The enemy tank was a fake. That unit over there is not. Don't lose hope. Return fire. Taking fire. Could use some backup. All right. Make a plan, then act on it. Surprise, mother trucker. Solid hits. Very solid. Let's keep going. I should have expected as much from you. Co-op attacks. Yeah, we learned about this last time. So that's one confirmed... One confirmed fake. I know there's a few up here, which I want to bring the Lancer up for. Leave it to me. Also, dubbed Kirito voice actor. Which, my friend finds... Where's the real tank? It makes her skin crawl, apparently. Anyway, other than that, how's your day been, Ethan? What, I have to work? Jester, you work or I will shoot you myself. Good girl makes everything better. Oh god, you're worse than Raz. Found him. Leave the driving to me. There they are. That's good. I have discovered the magic of air fried meatballs. They are tasty. There they are. Yep. Now, charge! <laughs> now, technically, I really shouldn't do this, but, uh, no. oh well. Four health? You've been spotted. Ow. <laughs> He's shooting my butt. Ow. Pick them up. Ow. Bingo. That's worth a raise, right? Kill confirmed. Not bad out there. Shit, there goes our train. There they are. Make sure you're properly equipped. Yep, yeah, this is a real tank. What? Located a tank. All right, keep it up. There should be more lurking around. Which means from now on we want to go around this way. And I think that one over there is fake.
But yeah, so instead of having Nico shoot at it, we Understood. want or not Nico, Curtis. We want him to move up this way. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. Give me a report on the enemy's movement. Up. Yeah, the meatballs were delicious. Alright, I kinda wanna capture this position, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Leave it to me. I wonder. Attention all squad. I'm gonna test something real quick. Fire! Never mind. Oh wait. Crawl. Alright. I'm not scared of anything. We may as well move him forward. Watch as we just slowly take out all the tanks by ourselves. Fire! Oh, or not because they're invulnerable. Weapons tight. Our mission is to find the tanks, not attack them. Let's do this by the book. Ah, <laughs> oh, but that's no fun. Boo! What was the point of bringing my lancer out here then? Out. So it seems having a few scouts close by each other does is a good idea. Like roughly three. Alright, so we want to get someone over there. I'm good. I can't tell if she's German or French. Potentials. We already know about that. Target destroyed. Very good. Very good. Begin. Uh, does anyone know if she's French or German? Oh God. I want to say German, but she also sounds a little French. German. Okay. Kai, you're going to stay back. Alright, and then we're gonna leave the rest here to defend the tank. Because we'll eventually get that open. Paper mache tanks? Fly bastards. Actually, those aren't paper mache, that's wood. We can't let them see our numbers. Alright, designations Eagle 1 and Eagle 2. Or no, Fox 1 and Fox 2, what am I saying? God, I have to work? Fox One, you're moving up. Found him. Shot fire! Find the ah. There they are. There they are. You lazy bum. Read him and weep. There we go. That's worth a raise, right? Good. That should make things a little easier. Alright. There they are. Get in there, get into cover. Just hold out. Capture that point. Good job. Enemy camp captured. Crouch. 
Where's the real tank? Alright, we're gonna get everyone up into this position. I want two people on each corner if possible. Understood. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. All right, Nico, you're going on a short little jog. I found them. Enemy spotted. Save the driving to me. The enemy tank was a fake. Also a fake. Which means the one in the back over here is real. Hell yeah, that's tank number two. Get to cover. Yeah. That gave me a heart attack. Jesus. Oh boy. Is he gonna run all the way down to our units? Or is he gonna go after Nico? Nope, he's running down. He's probably gonna shoot our units in the back. Because they're I didn't move Nico down that way. Or not. Two health. Dang. Bang. More or less throwing themselves at us. Oh yeah, and then there is a enemy ace up here, I believe. Right over here. Oh god. That little show. Our allies have been taken out. Little incident shows me exactly Come why I need these. Part of me wants to say this one's fake. I know for a fact this one up here is real. Lady Luck's on our side. Found him. Yep. The enemy take his fake. Pretty sure I can even shoot this. Alright, reinforcements are able to move in. Fox 1 has done its job. Ah, oh, shoot! That tells me where the other gun is. Oh, boy. Attention all squad. Check your equipment. Whew. Gave me a heart attack. Okay. Oh, no, it was just a pair of shock troopers. Advancing! Yep. I don't see any physical change to the tank yet. Where's the real tank? Fire! Keep firing! It just barely did damage to them. Or, I mean, it did a bunch of damage to them, but... Yeah, next turn they'll both be dead. Yes, you do. And if you don't, I'll shoot you myself. Keep calm and move onward. Found him. Yeah, real tank. We found the third tank. Okay, let's keep looking and make sure we don't miss any. Watch out for counterattack.
Can I toss it over there? We're gonna try. Nope. Not even close. They've taken our flank! Alright, watch the road, Jester. Nico, my dear. Nico, Nico, Nico. Damn it, Nico. Watch out for counter. Ah! <laughs> oh. Damn. Spotted. Okay. Is it the decoy we tank, Nico? Because if so, then that's that's not an, that's I not new. Shop trooper. Stay close to your unit. Enemy tank is fake. Paper mache tank. Fly bastards. Keep calm and move onward. Ah, oh, Nico, why? Ah. Nico, why did you do this to me? Nice. Now run. I did it. Run. They're good. Whew. Okay. It's command unit down. Got another tank found. Ah, that's the dude over there. Okay. Hmm. We don't really need any fencers. Oh. Now advancing. I could have just used Kai twice and taken out both of those shock troopers. You know, if I can see them. Close in on tanks from the rear. Oh god, Ted's nice. dead. They're good. Yep, entered. That's a lancer. We're fine. Minimal damage. If I remember correctly, there's a lot of lancers in this city. I need to kill that Lancer ASAP. Kai, I have a mission for you. Operation Kill Lancer. And for once, we're not playing in Fate. Right, line up that shot. There. There we go. All allies have been taken out. The tank is now free to move up. Just a bit. Okay, moving out. This tank makes number four. <laughs> and we're just standing right in front of it. There'd still be more, so keep looking. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. I'm not really sure what to do here. I may have screwed myself. Advancing. I call this one the aggressive assault. Watch out for counter attack. Now we just reverse like crazy. Keep calm and move onward. Watch out for counter attack. Advancing. Now we just going to back up like she's not crazy. 
Matt, what are you doing? What am I doing here? <laughs> okay. Um. Mm -hmm. No problem. Wait, is Rosetta a chick? I really can't tell. Hold I have no idea. I'll be there soon. Oh, she is. Interesting. Fake. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. Oh, yep, that's... That's a very feminine voice. I guess she's just very mature. No problem. That's a tank. We found the fifth tank. Okay, let's keep searching. Get in the grass. Can I go down this way? No, I cannot. We can't take on a heavy tank alone. Rosetta, you're just gonna have to stay there and not die. to work? Yes, you do. And if I'm lucky... This is a really bad idea and you shouldn't do this at home. Accuracy down. Purposefully wow, shoots to the day to the left. Still confirmed. Not bad out there. <laughs> All right. Captured an enemy camp. Nicely done. And the fifth tank. Okay, we got a pretty Sixth. good idea of where the tanks are. I'll report back right away. Nope. What's wrong, Miles? Our signal's jammed. We can't radio fire support. It was a trap. What? But we need that artillery. I can't fire at random, and I can't even contact them. We should get out of here before we're surrounded. Too late. Claude! <laughs> Meanwhile... They're late. Have you heard from the front line? They were supposed to report in ages ago. I've been hailing them, but there's no response. You hailed them? What the hell were you thinking? Lieutenant Miller, the enemy knows our position! No, crap. They triangulated our radio signals, moron. No, we're done for! They almost got us! They only got the general direction. They won't land a direct hit that easy. But it won't be long before they do! Lieutenant, we have to retreat! If we run away, Claude's dead. And Squaddy e with him. Hold your ground until I say otherwise. Duh. This rate will you all be will killed. hold! What if we're waiting for an order that never comes? In the name of the Holy Fox Empire, you will hold. Chips are down, Claude. And you're MIA. But he didn't run. It's just like before. If you really have changed, then prove it to me. Okay. Proceeds to run towards her. The base has been abandoned to the enemy counterattack. Regrouping troops to gain, gain formation. Shoot. Enemy soldiers incoming from the west. Trapped like friggin' rats. 
the hell are we gonna do? Okay, this is gonna be. We can't even contact Lieutenant Victor. Oh boy, this is gonna be real this quick. This mission's a failure, Claude. Only you can give the order to retreat. We ain't retreating. After we've come so far. Never to re never retreat, never surrender. Claude. No retreat. Our job is to tell fire support where to aim. And that's what we're gonna do. But how can we if we can't call him? Then we do is... something insane. That tower. Huh? Oh, that's a signal tower. Back in the day, they'd switch up the numbers to send out messages. Sniper team, can you hit those panels? Yeah. From here? Of course. Good, then get ready. We can use that tower to send coordinates to the field artillery team. Shooting the panels should change their numbers. I'll tell you what to display. First, make the top row say, 7, 1, 5. Roger that. Victory condition has changed. Snipe all the signal towers. Everyone's just grouped up here. Oh, and there's still that tank up here. How am I supposed to deal with this? Moving out. Like, actually. Well, we're gonna get a weird view, or not. Okay, so, 715. supposed to tell them where the tanks are? They probably won't even notice. Wait a minute. The top row doesn't look like a coordinate. I wonder what 715 means. Good work, Kai. Now oh, ring the right. Bell five times. Five times? <laughs> wow. July 15th. That takes me back. Ah. You sure they're gonna figure this out? And watch the bombs Don't worry. fall. Riley will definitely know what it means. Yay! We can move forward. See? They did it! They destroyed the tanks! Yahoo! Slick shooting. Those were both direct hits. They didn't hit the radiator. How is that supposed to kill them? Yeah. Kind of weird that Raz didn't get it, though. Okay. On to the next ones. Shoot a different tower and make the top row say 715. Yes, sir. Incoming! Pretty sure Kai can more or less do this all on her own. Enemy sighted. Try to minimize collateral damage. Oh, wait. That's right. Oh, and there's the Lancer over here. Which we're gonna go to. Moving out. Enemy sighted. This may be dumb, but I refuse to deal with Lancers. We're gonna pull back and try and go around the other way. Not bad out there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the LF, the LF Wasp is um, a British sniper rifle. Moving out. Oh wait, I can just put her in cover. Hungry. That's a stat debuff. Okay. 
we're gonna want a mortar shell right here. Advancing. British Army and the Royal Army. Yeah, I thought so. Beep beep. Someone called for the pain train. Target destroyed. Very good. Now back the hell up. Move to flank them. And obviously the Lend field is supposed to be the Lee Enfield. Oh, I could have shot that tower. That one's weird. We have to go like all the way around for that one. For that last one. And probably get shot up quite a bit. I don't actually know if his voice actor is the same as Saitama. But I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be a very obvious nod toward him. All their units are moving up to that central position. I think they might be gearing up for an assault. Most definitely. I think we're gonna get ambushed. <laughs> Firing squad. They just send all their troops down that way and they'll immediately get killed. Snipers, shoot the top row until the pan- I know, I know. That's why I grabbed an extra sniper. Can I do this? Shot fired. Actually. Watch out for- Ow. You. Die. Oh. Thank you. I got them? Confirmed. Not bad out there. Is that the enemy? I don't know why, but this reminds me of a uh, British Mark V and a Sherman. You think they'll fall for this? There they are! There they are! We can't let them see our numbers. I may have to go around that way to deal with the tank. Or to deal with the, uh, thing. Although, having said that, I might be able to make the shot from here. Where's the tower? Show those Imperial dogs what we're made of! Uh oh. Sfix? A sfix? I I don't know what a sfix is. We can't let them see our numbers. Can I do this? Proceeds to use most action points just getting her across the battlefield. Okay, you back up. Okay. Now advancing. Target confirmed. Bang. Not bad out there. 
Ah, nothing better than the smell of a fresh kill. Yeah, we're gonna need to bring the tank up. Smooth sailing. Tank! Alright, so... Should be this one? Bang! One shot's all I need. Bang! <laughs> Good. Those are the right coordinates. Ring the bell, Kai. You got it. I need fire on grid 150. Make it rain. Hell yeah! Music to my ears! PTSD the next to others. The last. Snipers! 715 up top, right? I'm on it. Pretty sure you're, you're supposed to use Kai for the entire mission. This entire segment. All right, now okay, moving out. Beep beep, bomb bus. Beep beep beep. Close in on tanks from the rear. Now that Lancer right here would have been a real problem. Thankfully, I had the foresight to kill him. When do you hear someone say that monster girls are just furries in disguise? We can't take on the heavy tank alone. <laughs> All allies have Get wrecked. Oh Panzer. Okay. PZF. Oh, you you misspelled that then. If it was a Panzer, I I know what that is. I know what a bloomin' Panzer is. Yes, yes. Shoot the shoot the top row. Advancing. You want to try shooting that top row? Be my guest. get them as close together as possible. Although I think I have ruined it. Right there. Target destroyed. Good work. Keep firing. The tank or the Edelweiss? Advancing. When that person still refuses to acknowledge that monster girls are better. Fire. Facts. Target destroyed. Ah. Very good. Good, then it wasn't in response to my utterly terrible joke. Don't, I could have made it a fan service joke. Uh, that's a wasted opportunity. I just realized I could have just gone around the entire time. Whoops. Alright, Kai, let's go shoot up some numbers. Move to flank them. Or perhaps not. Who can see me over there? I don't know, but they're about to be dead soon. Now advancing. I really need to watch a good, like, Monster Girl anime soon, but I've already committed to doing a binge-watching of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh, wait. Could I hit it from the sniper tower? Now advancing. Let's see. 
Come on, just a few, little few inches forward. Now advancing. Enemy sighted. That didn't help at all. Do not attack oh wait, the saying the cadet. For the glory of the fox, you must die. Headshot. Yep, at that point they just give up because they can't do anything. Yeah, 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 Trip. shoot the... Top row? Yes, I get it, I know what I'm supposed to do. And I know you're probably not... Actually, what is our... There's an info. Yeah, I gotta see. Now advancing. Target confirmed. Target confirmed. Da, da, da. Bang. <laughs> ah. It's trying to hit the middle of it. Ringing the bell. Ah. Boom boom. How exactly that works, I'm not gonna understand or attempt to reason. Our tank platoon is wiped out? Impossible. So this is it. Alright, we're pulling out. Make it quick. Oh, really? Explain. They beat an awfully hasty retreat, considering how many troops they had left. They lost their race in the hole. Heck, I'd withdraw if I was in their shoes. You telling me you'd retreat if we lost our tank? Waiting orders. Should we pursue? <clears throat> Negative. Our job is to capture the comm center. No reason to overextend ourselves. And I think we have to send someone into the comm center. Let's finish up the mission. Split up and find their radio equipment. On it, boss. All right, boys. One more job to do. Come on. And I'm pretty sure they destroy the radio equipment anyway. <sighs> You've saved us all. Thank you, Riley. Operation complete. Drinks all around, boys. And I got the ZM car one. You, uh, oh boy. Um, maybe don't do that because, uh, <laughs> that's, um, that's very expensive. Like, making a work, like, to put it in perspective, it took someone, I think, I want to say $20,000 to make their own Warthog out of spare parts from Halo. So, um,. Be warned, if you do that, you're not going to be able to move to a different house or anything. You're, you're going to be stuck living where good you are news, for a Claude. good while. HQ has awarded you with a medal. Yay, more medals. I know, but still. Honorary Medal of Valor. Ouch! You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. Oh! Nice, we got upgraded versions of our weaponry. Return to headquarters for debrief. Right, command room. Okay. The fresh recruits could give our squad a new edge. Might be good to get them on the field. Oh, we have new stuff. Do we have new ones? I 
I mean, we should probably get the grenadier, but eh. Alright, equipment. Who did really well last mission? Nico, obviously. So with the with their weapons, the range goes down, but the armored like the anti-personnel goes way up. Alright, Nico and Joker. You two did really well. Good on you. And then I want to give it to Ferrer, but Florette did quite a bit last time. Here you go. You get, like, a little more attack. There. All set. Alright. R&D facility. Oh, hey, Claude. Tank parts, what else? Oof. I guess equipment then. Oh right, we haven't completed the chapter. Duh. Ah, done already? Not quite as much of a fan of the music as I was the other one. Star children, oh boy. Oh man, Miles, you should have seen the look on your face. You try keeping your cool with a bomb landing next to you. Hmm. Raz, Miles? Come help me gather some parts we need. Uh, can't you do that on your own? Oh. Come on, Raz. Let's go. And here we have the dense mo the dense protagonist in his wild natural environment. Where are they all headed? Also, what's this? An actual bed in an army tent? What? The timing. Now we can talk in private. <laughs> well, no, it's not you, because Raz is like. Raz is the bad boy that doesn't really care about gender equality rights, and is. He drinks and gambles a lot, I'm pretty sure. Mind if I sit down? <laughs> He's that one guy who you'll always find it like it's some sort of like strip club or something. Oh. Uh be my guest oh I was when I said dense main tag dense protagonist I was talking about Raz not Claude just to clarify July 15th is coming up soon remember how excited we'd get for the star child festival we'd all run up the clock tower and the first five kids to reach the top would ring the bell I remember the winners got to wear a Star Child medal. And every year you wore yours with pride. I always looked up to you. I loved that festival. Almost as much as I loved winning. Concern. That's why I knew you'd recognize the signal. You dingus. For all you know, I might have forgotten. But you didn't, and we're here today. Not you. There's no way you'd forget those memories. You really do trust me, huh? The only reason I didn't retreat was out of stubborn pride. I was this close to leaving you for dead, though. Honestly, I didn't think you'd find a way out. Ouch. And yet, here we are. I canceled my transfer request, by the way. 
I'll give you another shot. Also, in case it isn't blatantly obvious, she's the love interest for this game. At least long enough to confirm you're not a scaredy clod. And it's your job to prove it. It's a little late, but I look forward to working with you. Oh no, get out the sensor bar, there's hand holding. Emergency! The city is. Look at rain! Oh god, the city's burning! What's going on? Riley, come on! They pulled a nom. Inferno. I think we all know where this is going. Now, when I first saw this, I'm not gonna lie. I was surprised. Oh dear God! Rain is burning. That's a Why? firestorm. We, we, had it on lockdown. we did. The Empire did this because no one to the city, so we couldn't take it. They're burning their own people. Agents inside. How could they? There are still civilians in there. The Empire doesn't care. Did the communications officers make it out? The whole city was doused with napalm. How? Once the flame started spreading, it was already too late. How did we miss this? How do you miss an entire city being doused with napalm? How? Legitimately explain this to me. You capture a city. You have guards round the clock. You don't notice people dousing houses with liquid? Flammable liquid. How dumb is this army? No. No. Also, Riley has issues. Riley, get a hold of yourself. Uh, no, the only idiots getting drunk are Raz. Fire. And this is why she has pyrophobia. Dad. Hey, stay with me. This isn't Hoffman. Your dad's not in there. <laughs> Riley. Squad E assembles. All oh, right. Wait. All oh, right. We can equip the Hoffen with decals. I forgot about that. I think it's the R and D facility. Oh, hey. Is there anything new to develop? No. As soon as I have money, I may as well get this. Wow! Um... I feel like there's more space here, but that may just be me. Alright, so now we go. Still tank parts. Wait. Change camo. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh, wait, these actually get buffed. That's cool. But yeah, I'm sorry. Change camo? Or is the camo like DLC skins? Ah, done already? Drop by whenever, and we'll see what else we can cook up. Also, I'm pretty sure my dad is out front, like... Tilling the grounds, but making it look like he's a happy What's dwarven miner. If I didn't know any better, I think you just lost a battle. I'm glad that we won, obviously. But when I see my comrades-in-arms lying wounded out there... 
We're not in boot camp anymore. This is war. If that's all it takes to get you down, you won't stand a chance when the bombs really come flying. That raises another good question. As far as I know, in this universe, neither side has aircraft, don't they? I know that, alright? War means blood. War means death. That's kind of disappointing. I wanted to... Still. I can't want to see what that would look like. It doesn't make it any less painful to leave behind a comrade you know you could have saved. I'm not disagreeing with you, but tending to the wounded is the medic's responsibility, not ours. Sure, except when they're too far away to make it in time. Sometimes you can run as fast as you can to get help and still get there too late. Hmm, can't argue with that. If only we could relay the urgency of the situation to HQ. Perhaps like this? That's all. I thought we were on the cusp of a pretty good order. Well, let me know if you change your mind. I feel like that's something that shouldn't be XP locked. I feel like that's something that we should have for free. Request a medic? Although, it does actually help, because if you're, like, on the other side of the battlefield and someone goes down, you might not be able to get there in time. That's actually very helpful. Do you guys want to do long stream today and go through the next one, or should we wrap this up? Because I have no issues with it. Okay, long stream. I'll just have to cut this up when I go to um, upload it to YouTube. Uh, still messing around with that book, huh? Raz. That your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. I want to buy a new drink. You have an addiction it's problem. It's not exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? Not gossip, and shut up. I think it's good to keep a record of things, that's all. <laughs> Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. And I guess it's a habit I picked up from, you know, him. Kai. You know, if you're that interested, we can buy a diary for you. Like hell. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. This kind of makes me want to make my own Monster Girl encyclopedia. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? I don't like know. Like I'm some goddamn illiterate? Uh, no one said that. No, no, just... Well, I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing them. Ooh, shots fired. Oh, you son of a... I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry, they're just messing around. I don't think there's any actual offense. Oh, but I guess I don't have to tell you that. You've known them much longer than I have. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? What, Raz and Claude? Yep. Uh, yes? I mean, we played together when we were kids, but Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then... Uh, anyway... I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. Oof. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy-buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude of all people. Raz barely takes order from anyone. Oh. That actually explains a lot. Well, it lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, huh? If things did change between them, it was probably thanks to an incident back in training. What happened? It's a long story. There are several dirty. There are several uh, 
Dirty jokes involved. A pained reminder. Let's see. Gosh, I think it was about a year ago now. It was the May of 1934. The president had just been elected. Finally, that damn drill sergeant is gone. I swear, if I see that bastard in the field, I'm gunning his ass down. Insubordination! Save that rage for the Empire, Raz. Kai. Gasp. It's not just training anymore. From now on, we're going to be fighting real Imperials. I still don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure that this version... This Kai is obviously their siblings, but something happened that caused him to de either desert the army or went missing in action. <laughs> Maybe. But that guy's earned a place on my shit list for life. Several people are in my real life are on that list. There was one button undone. I didn't expect him to deck me and send me on a 40k run. For the glory of the Imperium. There was a lesson in that. On the battlefield, the slightest mistake could cost you your life. So could running a 40k. Yeah, but remember when he found my contraband? All right. Oh. That beautiful pinup by your bunk? I understand confiscating it, but I wasn't expecting him to return it... Uh... <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Used. Um... Oh, did Zaga's wifey cheat on him with an officer? Talk about a honorable, honorable discharge. discharge. Oh God! Oh, oh boy! <laughs> the sex Bastard. jokes. Oh, Betty, my angel, what did he do to you? You happy, Ethan? This is what happens when you ask for long stream days. <laughs> Sorry, Zyga, but I guess love hurts. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> Yes, you've earned the right to hold a little grudge. I and if he did that at a waifu pillow. Who's next okay. to <laughs> I mean, who's gonna be our new commander? <laughs> he did that to an anime yeah, pillow. Wife he did that to my waifu pillow to a waifu pillow? Oh, that. I'd knock him on his ass. So hard, I wouldn't care if he isn't he's a rank above me. Rats, we aren't just recruits anymore. Our superior gives the orders, and we follow them. Sure, but Raz the Invincible doesn't play by the rules. Not even his own rules. And this is why bad things happen to you. Why should I listen to some old geezer from the last war? Or a smug prick who got in on their family name? Hey, I know. How about you become the squad leader, Kai? That would be ridiculous. I don't have any remarkable heritage, nor experience. I'm just a thug from the slums, same as you. Did they go to the Navy like yet? To them into battle. Oh, come on! You're smarter than any of us here. You're a crack shot. You got nerves of steel. Even the old sergeant never tried smacking you around. He never had an excuse. He respected you. No. I bet he was scared of you. Well, I mean, yeah, look at his eyes. Seriously, man, I can't think of anyone who'd make a better leader. I can. Well, I heard our incoming commander graduated as valedictorian of his class at the military academy. Valedictorian? He must really be the best of the best. That's a real feat. Ah, oh, great. Some rich scumbag with a stick up his ass. Just what I need. Not a rich one. Just a poor boy from the slums with a stick up his ass. Well, looks like he's here. Tension! Can't wait. <laughs> At least he tried to salute. I'd like to introduce you to the commander of Squad E. Meet your new leader. Second Lieutenant Claude Wallace. Claude Wallace. Claude? Wallace? Actually, one of my first childhood friends is named Wallace. Oh, He's a really kidding. cool 
Cool dude. I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> Never imagined we'd run into each other out here. Uh, hello. It's uh, nice to see you again, Kai. Raz? Scaredy Claude? You're supposed to be our leader? Like hell I'm ever taking orders from you! Soldier! You are speaking to your superior officer! He's a goddamn coward is what he is, and I'll say it as many times as I want! Raz, enough. Enough for you? I'm never gonna respect this son of a- Raz! Down, boy. That's it! You're dismissed from today's training! Get running! I want 100 kilometers! Oh god, 100k. Sure, whatever you want. Sign me up, long as I don't have to listen to him! One hell of a first day on the job, right? I guess you've got your work cut out for you. Pretty sure whenever this is said, it's said in sarcasm. <laughs> I never understood what it means to have one's work cut out for them. I'll be right back. Claude! Miles! <laughs> Last time I saw you was when we were paired up for tank training. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember me! I wasn't even from the military academy. I was just your average driver fresh out of basic. I heard you graduated as valedictorian, right? That's incredible! Only thanks to you, we wouldn't have aced the tank course without your help. Really, you're giving me too much credit. But I'll do my best not to break our streak. Now you want me to take orders from him?! Calm down, Raz. We're in the army now. Rank is everything. You know that already. You want ranks? Sure, I'm sergeant and he's second lieutenant. But he's still a worse shot than me, and his CQC's a joke. I'm sure I told you. Claude graduated as valedictorian of his class in the military academy. He's not the same Claude we knew. Yeah? So tell me what's changed. Valedictorian? Don't give me that shit! Hey, Claude! Claude! Look me in the eye, you bastard! <sighs> you hear me? I didn't drag my ass through all that training just to have you be the one yanking on my chain! I'll fight the imps, and put my life on the line to do it, but I am not letting Scaredy Claw get me killed! <laughs> Pathetic. If you can't even talk back, then you really are a coward. What's his problem? How can he talk to you like that? Aren't you going to say anything? Put him in his place! You were peerless in the tank training, and you were a better shot than anyone on the artillery. Claude, I... No, everyone who saw you in training looked up to you. There's no way anyone could call you a coward. I hope you don't hold it against him. Raz is more sensitive than he lets on, and he's not sure how to deal with this. Kai! Miles. Raz, Claude, and I, we all grew up together in the town of Hoffman. We were all pretty young when we first became friends. Too young to know about things like social standing. The reality was that Raz and I were kids from the slums, 
and Claude was upper class. He didn't know our struggles. We got older and learned more about how the world works. And the more Raz understood, the more it hurt him. <sighs> Claude, I'm sure on some level Raz is happy to see you again. But when he gets emotional, he just refuses to listen. You know how he is. I can try to convince him, but... It's fine, Kai. I understand. I don't think I can reach him through words alone. I'm the commander of this squad now. This is my problem. I'll try to think of a solution. Claude. Mm. You're right. Probably for the best. Several days later, all the members of the squad were gathered for an important announcement. What? We're taking on the Ranger course? That's the most difficult training in the army, isn't it? Uh, excuse me? Is this Ranger course really that bad? Only a select few manage to become Rangers. It's a title for real heroes. The best of the best. If we clear the Ranger course, we get assigned to special missions. And we all get epaulets. But the regiment is... tough. I hear it's made soldiers desert. Well, the ones who didn't wind up in the infirmary. Right. I hear that training stretches you to your limits. Mentally and physically. What? Well, is it too late to back out of this? Sign me up! I've always been interested in the Ranger Corps. Hey, whatever pays the bills, I'll do it. I, uh... I'm not sure. The whole squad will be taking the course. We're all gonna pass it. Not a single failure. What the hell? Claude, you realize what you're saying? Yes. And I don't make promises I can't keep. Ha! <laughs> Get real. Me and Kai are gonna pass no problem, but the others? Uh, I don't think so. No. We're all gonna beat this. I've read your files. You've all got your quirks, sure, but I see it more like each of you has hidden potential. I know you all enlisted for your own reasons. Good reasons. The reason I joined the military was to protect Galia from the Empire. It's my homeland, and I'll fight for it. And all of you stand here today because you have something you want to accomplish or protect. Right now, we're just a handful of soldiers among tens, hundreds of thousands. We're pawns on a board. I don't intend on staying a pawn. I want to bring the Empire down with my own hands, by my own will. If I want to do that, however, I need results. I need to earn trust. I need to stand on the front lines and change battles with my own decisions and tactics. And if we can make it into the elite ranks of the Rangers, I can make that a reality. 
What a load of bullshit. So, Claw, this is your solution? <sighs> I have to say, Raz, I'm surprised at your cowardice. What did you just say? True, the ratios of physical and mental capability in this squad may be a bit uneven. But that's something that could be covered between the two of us. Isn't that right? <sighs> or, do you think you can't complete the Ranger curriculum having to carry around the weight of our comrades? Uh, of course not! I'd finish this thing even if I have to carry the others on my back! Then it's settled. Sounds like you're all set, Second Lieutenant Wallace. Now, according to our deal, time for your mock combat mission. Mock battle? They want to test the squad's abilities. We need to know if we're ready to take on the Ranger course. Ha! Huh. Hope they're ready to see what Gallians are made of. Fine by me. But who's playing our enemy in this trial? The Ranger Corps elites. Well, that ought to be... Wait, what the hell? How are we supposed to beat them? The Ranger course is no playground. We're making quite an exception to let your whole squad attempt this. We'll see if your results can justify it. Looks like our first combat op will be a trial by fire. Well, Claude, time to do the impossible, right? Right. We're not going to lose this. Let's go over the details of the mock battle. Ah, better. <clears throat> Our goal is to capture the base camps the instructors designate within the time limit. We also need to keep our losses to a minimum. After all, they need to test whether the entire squad is ready for the ranger course. One more thing, it doesn't look like Raz has accepted you as our commander. He'll probably run off on his own, and I doubt he'll listen to your orders. But I guess it's not my place to meddle in whatever's going on between you two. You just need a good time to talk to him. I'm sure he'll come round eventually. Move out. Your first objective will be to capture this point. Exceed the time limit, and you'll be disqualified. Your it's mission starts now. Give it all you've got, soldiers. It's kind of rigged. Look at all of them. Elites everywhere. We're screwed if we take them head on. What? Rass, where are you going? 
Shut it. I don't take orders from you. I'll handle this my own way. See ya. Okay, bye, Raz. Raz. Fine. I don't need your help. I'll finish this without you. Raz is ignoring Claude's orders and cannot be commended. Here comes the pain! Yeah, he'll start each mission and open fire on more or less everyone. Come on! Because he doesn't really care. Capture the camp before your second turn ends. Sniper support. Can I do this? Question is, are they all in cover? No, they are not. Be a good spot for a grenade. Can I do this? His head bouncing caused me to miss. Okay, then. Understood. Forward. Into dawn. Come on, let's play. There. Okay, we got that one. Enemy down. I'm curious. Understood. Switch. Fire. Bring it out, rookies. This is gonna be really dumb. There. It worked. That was very risky. <laughs> Enemy camp captured. Hmm. So you're not just all talk. Well done. For your next mission, your objective is here. Capture, Capture it within, within the time, time limit. limit. What? The defenses are even tougher than before. How do they expect us to break through this? They don't. Wait, they don't. This whole test was a farce. They never intended to let us pass in the first place. Claude. Keep it together, Claude. Everyone's eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, Kai. Sorry, everyone. I got too caught up in my own head and... No, you're right. Times like these are exactly when I need to stay calm. It's fine, as long as you understand. Now, take a breath, calm down, and look around. Anything stand out to you? Not really. Around us? Oh, there's a flanking path. That's it. 
the terrain. We can use it to our advantage. Yep. Huh, you see I see, because there's one that goes around. Who's supposed to be the leader here? <laughs> For one of the Academy's blue bloods, he's pretty flexible. There's something cute about that. He's a little uptight, but I can see a fire in his eyes. The man's got guts. So what it's saying here, I think, is to destroy these. Oh no, wait, I think the black ones are, you can't destroy, red ones you can. Wait, what? Uh, oh. Okay, it's a good thing I did bring a Lancer. Leave it to me. Move it, Laurent. We just have a ranger course where it's like they just have a shoot at the enemy at friendly vehicles. Oh wait, does the enemy move around? Because if so, our friend over there may die. Okay. Right, because if even a single one of our units dies, we pain. lose. Die! Okay. Support our Lancer. Probably with a frag fragmentation mark one. What's that shock trooper doing? Don't no idea. Here's a present for you. an engineer right there. I didn't see him. He is sneaky. I'm not scared of anything. Sneaky like fox. Now regardless of where this hits, it'll blow up. Get him over and toss a grenade. Let's see what you can do, Mr. Valid. Glad you're here with me.
Grenade. you get this far very well the next objective will be the last and i'm pretty sure it's These protected by various are machine stronger guns than any previous objective now squaddy let's see how you handle it raz is all alone over there <laughs> how did he even get over there What's the, the bridges are blocked something on your mind it's raz's position he planned it, but he's in the ideal place to strike. If we coordinate with him over there, it doesn't matter how good the opponent is. We can still win this. Hmm, I think that matters quite a bit, actually. Really? And how do you plan to do that? He's not inclined to listen, unless you're going to grovel right here and now. <sighs> you know exactly what's going through his head right now, don't you? Stupid clod something something swear words. He hasn't changed a bit. Raz is still a sore loser. He never thinks ahead and charges blindly into danger. But he's still strong, loyal, and reliable. And really into women. Well, sounds like you already know what you need to do. I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> Damn it. I'm a sitting duck out here. No way I'm gonna break through just charging in like an idiot. <laughs> you're right. If I could just get some covering fire, this would be a cakewalk. Does sound like Diana. Raz! Gah, what the... Don't just yell like that out of nowhere, you dumbass. Soon, Ray. If we want to break through this, it'll take an assault from your position. If our squad's going to win, we need you. You can do whatever you like later. Hit me, yell at me, whatever helps. So please. All right, everyone. Once Raz begins his charge, we cover him with all the firepower we've got. Raz can shut down the snipers and machine guns and keep us all safe. Let's move out. What the? Hey, wait a goddamn minute. I never said I'd... Get moving. Uh, damn it, fine. I'm on it. Hang tight. If I remember, I thought the way we did. Hmm. All right, and there's a way to get him over here. If I remember correctly, we basically just have to use all our turns and just move Raz forward and shoot. Like, directly this way. Okay, let's back up a bit. Come on! Yeah, we have to basically do that. Repeatedly. Got this. Die! Your own damn fault. Also, I wonder if he's like this way because of the darks and stigmatism. I got this. Get in. 
Your puny rifles are no match for Raz. <laughs> Alright, now how are we supposed to get over there without hurt injuring ourselves? Or do we just enti this. rely entirely on Raz? Ow. Pricks. If I remember correctly, it took me a hot second to figure out how to do this. This is new. I don't think I went down this way last time. I've got this. Wait. Ah. Is it? Oh. I have no, to press to X, back. duh. Hit up with your best shot. <laughs> Here comes the pain. Literally. Wide open. Ha, easy. I'll take your camp now. Actually, hold up. <laughs> Let's do this. Wide open. Your camp oh, is mine. I got the base. Enemy camp captured. Operation. Week. And I did it in three turns. Which is a record for my mind-boggling eight That's last it. time. The test is finished. Squad E, you've gone above and beyond. It's called the it's flank. Unanimous decision. All of you are cleared for the Ranger course. I wish you the best of luck. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Raz, please don't throw grenades. We really did it! I knew we'd pull through! Well, you two are gonna be a handful. Hey, Rank! Heck yeah! Give me that money. Yeah, right, we're gonna finish this stuff and then I gotta end the stream. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. Wow, the mail system here must be crap if we're getting something in the mail, like... If we're getting something in the mail from, like, one year ago. Ooh, better sniper rifle. And body armor. You saw, right? I took them all. Oh, I yep. saw. I think it was teamwork that won us this one. <laughs> oh, come on! Give the guy some credit here. Ah, that one. The Panzer Three. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. No, Kai. He's right. We couldn't have won without you, Raz. I didn't realize until I saw you in action. All I had were my armchair theories. He may have been a loose cannon, but that's exactly what we needed. Well, I mean, you... You know, it sounds like you're finally paying attention, so... And, I mean, your theories and tactical crap worked out pretty okay for us in the end. I'd say it's more than just crap, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hey, look, don't go thinking you're hot shit now, all right? You're still not ready to be commander, got that? So, when you can't do it alone, just ask me, or Kai. Or any of the others, and we can help. 
We're all badasses here, right? He did a complete 180. Right. The the baddest of asses. Everyone. Oh god, he's so pure. <laughs> god, you're still such a nerd. Uh, sorry. You did good, guys. What? Damn it, Kai! Get your hand off my head! <laughs> that was a head pad animation. <laughs> Would you stop treating me like I'm some kid? I need a smoke. <laughs> he really needs to be a little more honest with himself. Wait. Yes. Claude, there is something I'd like to give you. Oh. This? A little record I've been keeping of this squad. From now on, it'll be yours to maintain. Ah. It's a diary, more or less, with logistical information. It might come in handy for making quick, precise decisions. Leader's got to keep a level head, right? Kai, the squad's in your hands now. So would that make Kai a cat, or would that make Ethan? Would that make um, well, female Kai a cat? Actually, no. Yes, female Kai is cat because of something Graz does later, After and that, what happens relates to that. The ranger course. And true to his word, none of us failed. No one had seen anything like us. We were soon assigned to the Ranger Corps. That was where it all started, for Claude and for all of us. Where we became the elite, where we became Rangers. Yep. That was where we became Squad E. There are maybe more kites, I'm not sure. Confidant. Wait, why are we talking about Persona 5 stuff here? That was where our real test started. Survival training was definitely the worst part. I remember Raz yelling, Someone shoot me now, because I'd rather die than eat a damn frog! Ugh, raw frogs. Just when I thought I'd forgotten the taste. Ugh. Yeah, I'm with Riley. In any case, all the training they threw at us, we beat it together. And that's the story of how Squad E came to be. That's nasty. You all went through a lot before I got here, huh? I guess they both changed. And I... Hey, tell me something. How'd you end up in the military anyway? I still can't believe Scaredy Claude is my commanding officer now. And undefeated, too. <laughs> well, I can't blame you. No, seriously. Why are you here, man? It's not because of all that stuff back then, right? When Riley's folks... Let's not talk about that. <laughs> Should have figured. Guess that part of you never really changed, huh? Still kind of pisses me off. Sorry, Raz. <laughs> I don't know why you're apologizing. <laughs> God, you're hopeless. Look at you trying to clam up again. Come on, you even got me on your side. And I definitely wasn't what you'd call cooperative. Yep. You're doing fine. We're all a load of losers, misfits, and freaks. And even so, you keep us together. Alright, where's where's the weeb in there, then? You think so? Oh, wait, it's 1934. Technically 35. Ugh, still? What do I gotta say? Come on! Listen, you're no scaredy Claude anymore. This stuff with Riley's gonna be fine, okay? Grass. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. 
Hmm. Wait. Okay, so if this is supposed to be like the Russian theater or the Eastern theater, what about the Africa and the Eastern the Eastern theater or the Pacific theater? Chapter 3, Rangers in the Storm. And we are going to do that later, because I got, I got to go. Everyone. Oh, I'd like wait. to introduce a new member of Squad E. Who is it? Norid Sadinen. So, are you much of a nature lover, sir? He has a little bear at his cap. Oh, that's cute. My name's Eva. Um, I hope we learn a lot from each other. She sounds familiar. We'll go to headquarters. The R and D facility. Oh, hey, Claude. Is there anything for the tank? That is a no. Negatory. Okay. Ah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I gotta go do stuff, so. Thanks everyone for. Uh, hello. Frick. Alright. Thank you. Thanks everyone, and may the holy fox guide your path.